While many of you probably weren't all that surprised because you knew it was coming at some point in time, it wasn't a matter of if, but when, and how soon. I bet, needless to say, that many of you were shocked, saddened, and somewhat devastated by the news over the weekend that A.J. Lee had retired from the WWE. And of course, then there's the tweeting of the hashtag thank you AJ and hashtag thank you AJ whatever. Here's what I say. Goodbye AJ Lee. Good luck to you in your life and all of your future endeavors. I hope whatever you and Philip do makes you happy. God bless you. Good luck to you. I wish you nothing but the best. But good riddance. Good fucking riddance. And I say this first just from my own perspective as a wrestling fan. I've always found AJ Lee to be incredibly fucking annoying and not in a good type of way. Just fucking annoying. And it's not even necessarily so much her character itself, even though I always thought her character was kind of stupid in the way it was portrayed, in the way that she was featured, in the way that she was presented. But I was always more so annoyed with how many of the hardcore fans would take to the interwebs to talk about how star-spangled awesome this little girl was, how awesome she was, how great she was, how she's the best thing the Divas Division's had in so many freaking years. And then all the time I'd have to hear about people tweeting about how sexy she is or how hot she was and how much they like to fantasize about her and skip-de-skip and whoop-de-fucking-woo. I have to confess... I'm not going to miss having to look at that shit anymore. I'm not going to miss, you know, the fact that I won't have to see that anymore. Good fucking riddance. I'm glad. Sayonara. Hasta la bye bye. Get the fuck out of here. This is just sad. And when I talked before about the standards of us as wrestling fans dropping, you can look at the Divas division and again, I am sorry. For so many of you that proclaim that AJ Lee was the sexiest and hottest diva in the WWE, what the hell does that say about the Divas division? I realize that my tastes are a little bit different than you. And some of you might want to accuse me of doing some gorilla loving or whatever the fuck it might be. Well, if that's the case, then what the hell are you up to with your Jerry loving ass? That's exactly who the hell she reminded me. Jerry the mouse from fucking Tom and Jerry. Yeah, maybe she was hot in a 14-year-old 8th grade kind of, oh my God, she just started to poke out her tits, and then God, you got to get a lot bigger even though they never really will. And she'll get even taller, and then she never does. And then she's just kind of annoying and cute, and she's flirty and all this other crap, and ah, pfft. I'm so glad I'm not going to have to fucking hear about her being hot and being sexy and being this and being that, because she wasn't. She was so much of the same old shit that we've had from the Divas Division for years. Sorry if that truth hurts, but that's exactly what the fuck it is. It's the truth. And I'm sure from the WWE standpoint, it's also good fucking riddance. And frankly, I can't blame them. At the end of the day, they don't give a fuck about the Divas, no matter how many delusional idiots want to come on the social media uh, stratosphere, if you will, and think that they can affect some type of positive change for the Divas. Ding dong, dumb dicks, the WWE doesn't give a fuck. If it doesn't involve Total Divas and the Total Divas show, which gets a third to a quarter of the ratings that Raw does, then they don't give a fuck about anything or anything pertaining to the Divas whatsoever. They give more fucks about a show that does a quarter of the ratings than Raw does when it comes to how they feature the Divas. Just think about that for a second. This company doesn't give a fuck about the Divas. And all this AJ tweet and this bullshit, ah, shut the fuck up. This is a girl that had opportunity after opportunity. She was given all types of chances. She was given all types of pushes and forces down her fucking throats. All types of featuring like a big star. All types of spotlight. Constantly being put at the top of the Divas division. You know, and what did the WWE frankly get from it? Not a whole fucking lot. If we're really being honest here. Some of you are going to point to this, and some of you are going to point to that. You ain't got shit to point to. Is at the end of the day, if you really are honest with yourself, did AJ Lee make the Divas division a better place? The answer, in my opinion, is no. Did the quality of the Divas division improve with AJ Lee in the fold? Again, in my opinion, the answer is a clear and unequivocal no. 
And that's not necessarily to say that is AJ's fault, because at the end of the day, how could anybody succeed in particular as a female wrestler in the WWE in that toxic cesspool of a fucking environment? So much of what they do is exactly the fucking same. And as a result, AJ Lee became more of the freaking same. And from a WWE standpoint, frankly, how much did she really matter? She clearly didn't matter as much as the Bellas. She clearly doesn't even matter to me as much anymore as Paige. Because at least Paige is now on Total Divas. Again, the priority is on the show that does a quarter of the ratings that fucking Raw does when it comes to the Divas. Does that make any fucking sense? Well, in WWE world, it fucking does. I mean, she just didn't deliver, I think, what she probably believes that she delivered, and that, frankly, her fans thought that she delivered. I thought there were many times where I thought she was just kind of phoning it in. She would have average matches. Of course, so many of you would take to the social media and talk about how great and awesome it was just because it was AJ Lee. And again, just because you like somebody, it doesn't mean everything that they're involved with is fucking great. Can we get that? Can we get that? I look back to 2012, and I look back at the ridiculousness of AJ Lee. You're talking about her sucking Daniel Bryan into her fucking vortex of frankly suck in my opinion. And then when you get your hero CM Punk and Daniel Bryan feuding over the WWE title, so many of you tried to proclaim that it was great, but it was bullshit. It was complete and total bullshit because everything about it was not about the title. It was not about CM Punk or Daniel Bryan. It was about fucking AJ Lee. And at the end of the day, what the hell did they do with AJ Lee? They made him her stupid general manager doing stupid shit. Pretty much everything that she involved with was frankly fucking stupid, lame, and more of the fucking same. Again, from the WWE standpoint, you know, she was a bit of a headache, it seems like. She kept wanting to leave. You know, you don't want to be there? Then goodbye. Good luck. Good fucking riddance. And we all know what this comes down to. You know, there could be different behind-the-scenes things in terms of, is she pregnant? Are they going to try and start a family? At the end of the day, here's what we know. We know somebody was in her ear, that's how it goes. Usually it's a woman in the guy's ear, but that's exactly what it was. She had a CM, if you will, going, da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da. and AJ's like, da -da -da, da -da. and then CM goes, da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da. And then eventually she just leaves. But here's the biggest thing of all that makes me just completely say fucking totally good riddance to her. And I'm sure a lot of you will hate this. And that's just too fucking bad. No, this isn't tr me trying to be contrarian. This isn't me trying to be controversial. This is me believing what the fuck I believe. And that's good fucking riddance to her. She knew goddamn good and well heading into WrestleMania 31, and weeks before that, even probably before she made that one last little return, just in time, mind you, to make sure she got herself a WrestleMania payday, that she was out of there after WrestleMania, that she was gone after WrestleMania, that she was done after WrestleMania. She wasn't going to do this anymore after WrestleMania. Instead of telling the people in charge of the WWE, therefore, they could sit there and have her actually put somebody fucking over on the way out, which would be the professional thing to do, which would be the right thing to do, because God knows enough people put AJ over in the past three fucking years. Why wouldn't you want to return the favor? Of course, AJ apparently didn't say nothing at all whatsoever, and it shows in that Divas tag match, it was completely forgettable any fucking ways at WrestleMania, because AJ made sure that she's the one that fucking went over. So now instead of having one of the Bellas go over, who are still there at least for the moment, or Paige, the younger one, who seems to be the one that might stay longer term actually going over, now it's AJ Lee. She got her victory at WrestleMania 31, being the dumb fucking mark that she is, and now she's exited stage right. She didn't even give you the courtesy of a retirement announcement. She didn't even give you the courtesy of a real explanation. She didn't even give anybody the courtesy of putting somebody over on the way fucking out, like maybe the next night on Raw. So as far as I'm concerned, for that unprofessional bullshit, and you can say what you want about, well, if the WWE wanted to fire her, they just fire her, and yeah, that's true. And maybe with AJ Lee, get them before they get you. Maybe you were tired of the bullshit. Maybe WWE is thankful because they don't have to worry about, well, if we don't treat her well, then we could get a retaliation lawsuit and da-da-da. But if you're going to act like this and you're going to conduct yourself like this type of bitch type of manner in the same way that your husband conducted himself in a bitch type of manner in 2014, tucking his tail between his legs and walking out like a coward, then fuck you. We don't need you as fans. The company sure as hell don't need you as, period. Good riddance. I mean, seriously, people. What did A.J. Lee ever do that was really so star-spangled awesome? What did A.J. Lee really do that makes you want to miss her at all? 
As far as I'm concerned, she was more of the same old bullshit. She was just a prop. She was just somebody put in a position and that's it. And I've seen people tweet about her being a freaking Hall of Famer someday. I've seen people talk about how she changed it. What the fuck did she do to change the Divas division? She didn't do shit. 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 Give Divas a chance. Yeah, right. <laughs> you wonder why this company doesn't give Divas a chance. Other than the fact that Vince is a senile, out-of-touch fuck, and then Kevin Dunn doesn't know what the fuck he's doing, and Michael PSAs would rather be getting blown by Rosa Mendes than trying to book a creative, compelling product. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. They just don't care because they don't think women are as important as men. And while I don't completely and totally agree with that assessment, it's the WWE's assessment at the end of the day. It's the only fucking assessment they have. And when you look at what the Divas actually bring to the WWE, you sit there and say again, if the WWE isn't going to give them an opportunity, if the WWE isn't going to care, and no motherfuckers, giving them a five-minute match on Raw every week doesn't mean that they care. That's not giving them a chance for shit. That's not getting anybody fucking over, just like it doesn't help 98% of the fucking roster. If you think AJ Lee is some great loss, then shame on you. She ain't shit. Diva's division will go on being the same lame-ass shit it's been for a long time. As far as I'm concerned, you know, if that means it opens up an opportunity for a Charlotte, for a Sasha Banks, for a Bailey, or somebody that actually fucking wants to be there, then good. You know, AJ doesn't want to be there, good for her. You know, she's got the opportunity to be able to leave, and like I said, she was able to just cut away and run before the WWE made her cut away and run, good for her. She created that leverage for herself. Don't expect any sympathy out of me. Don't expect me to applaud it. You don't want to be there? Fine. Find somebody else who does. Because frankly, it's not like the WWE is really missing anything. And I hopefully, at some point in time, as time goes along, more of you will realize that we're not missing anything without having AJ Lee. It's very simple. Good luck to her. Goodbye. And most importantly of all, from myself, surely the WWE, and hopefully some of you, even though I'm sure the comment section of this video and the like-to-dislike ratio is going to reflect something entirely different, AJ Lee, good fucking riddance.